What have we prepared? Um, we've kind of composed some things, kind of worked on little sketches to use them for scenes, and it'll be a combination of that and playing a couple of things from Faust. From, yeah, from, from Grunod's Faust, yes, which is featured heavily in the movie, in the film. It's a lot of, it's a lot of playing, non-stop for an hour and a half, it's like, that's a long time. Um, and it's, improvising is one thing, and then improvising with two people is another thing, and then improvising along with something else <laughs> is um, something new and uh, difficult. But uh, hopefully it's gonna, uh, it's gonna work, turn out. I think it will. <laughs> so today we are having Phantom of the Opera, the classic of the classics. We very much hope that people will enjoy the screening on the rooftop of this wonderful movie which we prepare those masks for. I think that it's exciting to hear this classical thing which so many New Yorkers know from the Broadway show with the very unusual music combination. So I am myself really looking forward to see what today's evening will bring. I've been here before, but I brought two friends who were new last week. And when one of my friends heard it was Phantom of the Opera, she felt it was the prototypical silent film, so that we had to come back. A little hidden gem in the city. I've not seen it before. I saw this movie when I was a little kid. On television, there used to be a, a weekly show, Silence Please, that I watched every week with my dad. So I saw this probably 50 years ago. It was in uh, boarding school back in uh, 1949. It was my father's favorite movie. He saw it when he was a child and he was frightened to death. But I love to see the music, especially live music with the silent movie, so it's really nice. I think it's just a fascinating story and it's been told so many times um, and each one gets it a little bit different and it's just fascinating to see, um, especially in America, how much of a cultural phenomenon it's been. It seems like every 10 years or so, uh, Band of the Opera always comes back.